DEPS. THIS IS THE FIRST TIME I'VE EVER SEEN THIS HAPPEN. THIS IS THIS uh, TEXAS DPS TROOPERS AND TEXAS NATIONAL GUARD SOLDIERS PHYSICALLY BLOCKING MIGRANTS FROM ENTERING THE U.S. HERE IN BROWNSVILLE. YOU'LL SEE THE MIGRANTS LOOK CONFUSED. THEY'RE NOT USED TO BEING TURNED BACK. THEY'RE USED TO JUST BEING let in and essentially welcome, but Texas has barbed wire rolled out and they've got soldiers and troopers there and they are physically stopping them from coming into Brownsville. And again, that is something we are not used to seeing. Previously, uh, DPS will take them into custody and they hand them off to Border Patrol and they let the feds handle it. Now we are seeing the state of Texas actively block migrants from entering their state. And that's part of Governor Greg Abbott's new uh, initiative. He tweeted a, a response to this video earlier today saying he's proud uh, of his troops and the troopers saying great job and that, you know, President Biden sending 1,500 troops to the border to do paperwork. Well, I'm sending troops to the border to stop illegal crossings. And you can see those migrants look confused and they didn't know what to do. In the meantime, though, there are still huge illegal crossings taking place elsewhere. Take a look at this drone video. Our team shot yesterday afternoon, Martha. Stunning images. And you'll watch our drone just kind of pan and the pan seems to go on forever because this group was so big. Hundreds upon hundreds of migrants. Here in the Rio Grande Valley sector, CBP sources tell me uh, they've currently got about 7,600 migrants in custody, thousands of single adults, and their facilities are running about 165% of capacity right now. They are overwhelmed, and we'll show you where it is all coming from. Take a look at this second drone video here as our great drone team looks into Matamoros. So look at all that clothing and trash and rubbish discarded on the Mexican shoreline near those migrant camps. Then it's going to switch to the U.S. side of the border. More of the same, more trash, more rubbish, and a non-stop line of illegal crossings. Hundreds upon hundreds of people snaking through the brush there after they cross the river. It has been nonstop every single day here for the past several days, and it's not just limited here to the Rio Grande Valley. We heard you mentioning El Paso. Take a look at this last piece of video. This from 3 a.m. this morning in El Paso showing another massive groups of migrants who have crossed illegally, several hundred of them there in that location. This is just not Nonstop all across the border. Every border patrol sector except one is over capacity right now, and that is why authorizations have gone out to begin street releases. And Martha, earlier this morning, I got